Welcome back to day three of the Rail Business Awards for 2021. So far, we've celebrated the best of railway people, engineering and technology. Today's online presentations turn to operations and delivery, recognising excellence in passenger and freight operations, accessibility, customer service and marketing and communications. And today's awards are sponsored and presented by the Institution of Railway Operators. First up is the Award for Accessibility and Integrated Transport Excellence. This recognises excellence in the provision of accessible facilities and services on trains, stations and journey planning systems and improving integration between rail and other modes. Done well, this can bring benefits for both customers and businesses. And that's what the judges are looking for. There are just two on the shortlist this year. Greater Anglia Low Floor Bi-Mode Trains with Retractable Step and Southwestern Railway Assisted Boarding Points Transforming Accessible Travel. Now let's go over to the Institution of Railway Operators, Fiona Tordoff, to announce the winner. The winner of the Accessibility and Integrated Transport Excellence Award is Greater Anglia. Congratulations. The judges said Greater Anglia had made great steps in giving people control of their journey. Allowing them to board independently gives them the freedom to travel alone without needing to book ahead or ask for assistance. Considerable effort had gone into the design, working with focus groups and customers with a range of special needs, leading to the development of a mock-up to be tested against platforms with substantial variations. The trains have been described by stakeholders as a real game-changer. Hello, I'm Jonathan Denby from Greater Anglia. We're really delighted to win this award for this groundbreaking project. It was a real partnership initiative between ourselves, Greater Anglia, and our train manufacturer, Stadler, with input from accessibility groups across our region at the design stage. And it's already making a real difference to passengers' journeys across our network, as well as setting a benchmark for accessible travel on the UK rail network more widely. We're looking forward to working on even more positive accessibility projects in the years to come. Thanks again. The Customer Service Excellence Award recognises excellence in the provision of services to rail users and improvement of the overall customer experience, including crisis management, the dissemination of critical information, and the provision of value-added services, which can have a positive impact on both customer satisfaction and business performance. The shortlist is Direct Rail Services for its response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Govia Thameslink Railway for its automated refunds platform, Scotland's Railway for managing the impact of engineering works at Haymarket Junction, and Southwestern Railway and Network Rail Wessex for the deployment of trespass and welfare officers. Four very different entries, but all highly significant. Now let's go over to Fiona to announce the winner. The winner of the Customer Service Excellence Award is Southwestern Railway and Network Rail Wessex. Congratulations. The judges commended Southwestern Railway and Network Rail Wessex for helping the vulnerable and delivering a safer railway, tackling the difficult problem of external factors that can have a significant impact on performance. Working with STM, they've deployed 140 additional staff to manage welfare and trespass incidents across the network, and it's really making a difference. As well as saving lives, the initiative has helped to reduce train delays by many thousands of minutes. On behalf of South Western Railway and Network Rail, I wish truly to thank you today for receiving this award. To date, we have over 100 trespass and welfare trained officers operating at 40 locations throughout South Western Railway Network keeping the network safe at all times. We have had over 204 interventions by engaging, checking on passengers' welfare to ensure they are safe to travel on the network. Safety is our number one priority at every single day. Our next award is the Marketing and Communications Excellence, which recognises the most successful marketing campaign, PR, external or internal communications project, considering the commercial context, choice of communications media, target audience 
and business benefits. The shortlist looks like this. Great Western Railway, that's entertainment. London Northeastern Railway, transforming travel for the launch of the Azuma trains. And Scotrail, five rules for safer travel. Our judges were impressed by all of the entries, which showed a lot of creativity in a very difficult year, when ridership levels and revenues slumped and marketing was constrained by constantly changing government messaging around transport use during the pandemic. Recognising the hard work, planning and skill that had been put into a comprehensive campaign that blended elements of pride, prestige and tradition with innovation and transformation, they've decided to highly commend London Northeastern Railway for its unified communications plan to launch the new Azuma trains across 10 different East Coast service groups. A first-class effort. Now let's go over to Fiona to announce the winner. The winner of the Marketing and Communication Excellence Award is... Great Western Railway, well done! The judges were impressed with this comprehensive entry designed to restore confidence among customers, staff and stakeholders at a difficult time. Despite the need for a low-cost approach under the government's emergency measures agreement, GWR's That's Entertainment campaign reached the equivalent of more than 250 million people over six months, lifting its social media audience by 700% to 37 million, whilst generating much positive feedback. Well, look, it's an absolute delight uh, to be here uh, on behalf of the communications team and the marketing team at Great Western Railway to uh, accept this award. It was a truly fun experience, which has to be the top of the list for anything during the last 12 months. Uh, really proud of the team and what they've achieved with this. Thank you very much. Our next award is for Rail Freight and Logistics Excellence. This recognises initiatives in the rail freight sector to attract new traffic to rail through business growth or modal shift, product and service changes to meet customer requirements and technical innovations to improve efficiency and competitiveness. Another varied category this, the judges have shortlisted three entries. DB Cargo UK and Maritime Transport for their intermodal partnership. DB Cargo UK and Network Rail for the operation of jumbo freight trains for British Steel. And iPort Rail for its operational success and continuing expansion. Our judges were impressed by all of these entries in different ways. In particular, they'd like to highly commend one business which is celebrating a rapid ramp-up in activity, having launched six daily intermodal services in just 15 months, and most recently a short-haul shuttle service that completes two round trips every 24 hours. The highly commended in this category goes to iPort Rail. Now let's go over to Fiona to announce the winner. The winner of the Rail Freight and Logistics Excellence Award is DB Cargo and Maritime Transport. Well done. The judges felt that this partnership launched in April 2019 was successfully harnessing the strengths of both partners, with Maritime taking over some of DB Cargo's terminal operations and providing additional business to revitalise its intermodal trains. The number of services operated has increased, while Maritime has opened its new East Midlands Gateway, which has capacity to handle up to 16 full-length trains per day. The intermodal partnership between DB Cargo UK and Maritime is a first in the industry where two leading rail and road freight operators have come together to increase competition within the intermodal market. Since the start of our partnership in April 2019, we've increased our services from four to eight, including the latest from London Gateway to East Midlands Gateway. I would like to thank everyone at Maritime and DB Cargo UK for their hard work in making this partnership a success and look forward to seeing our relationship prosper in the future as we continue to deliver sustainable services to our customers. Thank you. The last of our operating awards is the coveted Train Operator of the Year. Open to any passenger or freight train operator, this recognises overall business excellence and outstanding customer service, with the judges looking for evidence of performance and delay management, stakeholder cooperation, investment, innovation and business growth. Here's who's on the shortlist. 
Greater Anglia, London Northeastern Railway, and Southern Railway. Now let's go over to Fiona to announce the winner. The winner of the Train Operator of the Year is Greater Anglia. Congratulations. The judges felt that Greater Anglia had achieved another all-round excellent performance during 2020, reflecting the successful entry into service of its new intercity and regional fleets, which despite some teething troubles, are light years ahead of what they replaced. This has been reflected in a very good service delivery, while attention has also been focused on stations, ticketing and customer and community relations. Hello, I'm Jonathan Denby from Greater Anglia. We're really delighted to have won this award. Over the last year, our teams have done a fantastic job, running an excellent service for everyone who was traveling by train throughout the pandemic. We've also delivered some record-breaking performance and continued the rollout of our new trains, completing the first phase with all of our regional, intercity and Stansted Express services switched over to high quality new trains, and also now begun the introduction of our new suburban trains too. We're looking forward to building on this progress and delivering an even better service in future. Thanks again. Congratulations to all of our winners and thanks to the Institution of Railway Operators. Don't forget to tune in again at the same time tomorrow for the grand finale of the 2021 Rail Business Awards and the presentation of the coveted award for Rail Business of the Year.